Hi everybody, I am so glad to share this space with you and today we are going to learn about the Balinese prayer basket. I want to take you on a little tour to Bali which is called the Island of the Gods and not make this just about painting a prayer basket. Let me tell you something about myself. I am Pavan Kapoor. I have been writing for a long time and I've published some children's illustrative bilingual books. I decided to take my art further and bring it to people in a therapeutic way which is what I have felt about art ever since I started painting as a young girl. So I accredited myself in art-based therapy and opened a little studio. This is my happy space and started sharing my art with people who really needed it as a therapy. From the moment you step into Bali, you see them everywhere. They're placed in shop fronts, at the foot of temples, on the head of statues, even inside cars. And if you don't catch sight of them for their sheer visual beauty, you catch a hint of their scent, the tropical frangipani, the plumeria flowers, which we are going to learn and which I have also taught in my last class, just have this amazing scent which follows you everywhere. It might seem like a jumble of tropical flowers in a basket made of banana leaves, but every single flower is placed in a position which symbolizes a higher truth. All the Balinese traditions have evolved and undergone a change in the modern times, but this somehow has stuck on because the Balinese really believe in the harmony and the cleansing of the aura which these prayer baskets so join me on a little tour as we go behind the scenes and check out why what is placed where in the balinese prayer basket see you in the next chapter